Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I say, I say, I say. I'm here to do a general energy reading for you guys to see exactly what spirit ancestors need you to know at this time. Somebody could be trying to knock you out of balance right now with an argument. Let's see what the energy is. What's the energy for the collector? What's going on at this time? Thank you. I don't know about anybody else, but I have really been feeling the need to wear yellow. Oh, we got the five of cups out here first. I don't know why, but the first thing that came to my mind was like, because with this, with this, the five of cups is like a down type of energy. Somebody that's really feeling like the, the word is on their back right now. Maybe you need to do something with yellow too to bring some sunshine into your life. Because somebody's life is surrounded with death right now. Somebody's life is surrounded with death. Wow, look at that, the world. Somebody's whole life is surrounded with death. Or somebody literally just lost somebody. Let's keep going. What's the energy? Thank you. We got the two of wands. Or somebody that you lost. You could possibly end a relationship or a friendship or something. I feel like somebody probably wants to come back in. Or maybe you need to get all oh, like the two of cups. Mm. Or maybe you need to get back focused. Or maybe somebody lost themselves. Somebody could have possibly lost themselves here. What's the five of cups? We got the six of swords. This is being guided to karma waters. What's the world? got the full one so this is definitely um some type of friendship relationship close connection this is a close connection i'm picking up on here maybe you did end out a cycle with somebody here and now they want to come back in maybe they see you loving all on yourself maybe this person the energy i the energy i was picking up on when i first started the video what i was saying about the five of cups maybe it's the energy of the person that i'm picking up on what's the two of wands I saw like somebody distracting themselves right now from you. Ooh, look at that. The four stories with the star. Somebody's distracting themselves right now with work. Somebody just feels incomplete without you. Something about brown can be important. What's the two of cups? Somebody feel like they're not going to be at peace with themselves until they get you back. Wow, look at that, the Three of Swords. Wow. Okay, what's going on with this individual that's missing my collective right now? What is going on with them? Expose the energy that they're truly in. Thank you. The King of Pentacles. Somebody's distracting themselves with work right now. Oh, look at that, the Five of Wands, and I just seen the double. Distracting themselves with work and other things. Child, I hope there ain't no women. What's the King of Pentacles? Clarify the King of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. Yeah, he's distracting himself with many, many things. He, she, take it as it resonates. Could possibly, most likely, be a he. What is this star energy out here, though? Let me get some more. Let's clarify with the Soul's Journey deck. What's the Five of Cups with the Six of Swords? Somebody feeling guilty, child. We got patience. I said that everything happens in divine order. Is somebody patiently waiting on you. Somebody was guided away to calmer waters. This could probably have been an emotional, abusive relationship. Somebody's very emotional or abusive to somebody here. Let me move this down a little bit. Clarify the world with the four ones. Something about infinity. We got surrender with peace at the bottom of the deck. I can release my need to control. So somebody's probably very controlling. 
I don't know why I'm picking on something about Adam and Eve. Something to do with Adam and Eve. Somebody wanted you, yeah, to surrender yourself to them. Somebody wanted you to surrender yourself to them. This is somebody that has control issues. That's why I seen the devil with the, that's why I just seen the devil with the five of ones at the bottom of my deck that I just showed you guys. Somebody has control issues here with women. Clarify the two of wands with the four swords, the star. Ooh, purpose. But not you, baby. Somebody's more focused on their purpose here. Somebody is working on them. And whoever this person is that misses you, I don't know, I feel like this makes them want to chase you even more. Because you're not focused on them, you're focused on you. And maybe that's why this came out to the King of Pentacles with the Seven of Clubs. Maybe they want to be able to bring you in, you know, an offer or something. Could I find a Two of Clubs with the Three of Swords? Duh. Wow. This person feel like this relationship is officially over. Six or one on the clock as I said that. That could be significant for some of you. This person might feel like that this relationship is over with. Because of something. Hmm. Give me some more energy on this two of cups, three of swords with the death. The three of cups, third party here. I'm picking up third party. That five of wands coming right back to me. I don't know what exactly am I getting with this. I was stuck. I just heard in my head party and bullshit. I don't know why I just heard that. Bitches party and bullshit. I find this exactly the type of shit this masculine was on. Bitches partying and bullshit. And a whole bunch of material wealth. What's the King of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups? We got self esteem here. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Money. So this is a masculine that knows that his money can pretty much make let him get his way. This is somebody that gets their way with their money here. Give me some more energy on this masculine. What's going on with this masculine? Well, like, well, how did he treat my divine feminine here? Like, what's going on? I know I said it like earlier that take the energy as resonates, masculine or feminine. You can still do that, but I'm really picking up heavy that this is a masculine here. What's going on with this guy? Oh, look at that. The five of wands came right back out. I'm not tripping here. What's the five of wands? I'm not tripping here. This masculine has major control issues, and he knows that his fucking money can get him very, very far with women. But for some reason, I feel like he wants to hold back. I feel like he wants to hold back from these women. That's what I'm getting with this four wands. Like, you see how she's hold, like holding back? I feel like he wants to hold back from other women and bring it to you. But why, though? What's the four of pentacles with the five of wands? You're very guarded and protecting. You're super... Oh, wow. Look at the devil. Yo, the energy is... Wow. I was just... I just talking about the five of wands with the devil. What's the devil for Pentacles Five of Wands? Growth. Growth. This masculine wants to grow with you. I don't know why I'm picking up good and bad energy for this devil. I'm picking up good and bad energy. I find somebody's going, this masculine is like. I don't know. Something spiritual is going on with this masculine, though. Something spiritual is going on with him. Something about blue and orange is coming through. Give me some more energy on this devil, please. Thank you. Give me some more energy on this devil, please, when it comes to this reading, dealing with this masculine. What's going on? The fool. Something spiritual is going on with this masculine. It's like he know he got control issues with the devil. That's the negative energy I'm picking up on. His, his egotistical ways, you know, like him operating out of his animalistic mind. You know, feeling like, you know, that women are supposed to be at his every beck and need. But something about you, though, 
is making this masculine. Not only does he, does he really do feel like a fool, but he wants to take a leap of faith towards you, a big leap of faith. I'm talking about something that his masculine hey never did this with no other fucking woman. You are going to be the first woman that this masculine has ever did something like this with. He wants to come in and do something. Give me some more energy on this masculine. What does he want for my divine feminine? What does he want? What does he want? He wants you. The real you. The page of cups. He wants you. Whoever that might be. And you are a loving person. Clarify the identification card. You are a loving... Watch the Empress. Uh, it might not come out, but... <laughs> something even better than sun came out, baby. He wants you. He wants you because you light up his world. Wow. I'm picking up on a sweetheart here. Like, you are a sweetheart. The energy I'm getting from you right now, you are a sweetheart. And this masculine really did... Like, I, he played a lot of games. He played a lot of games with you. And I feel like he wasn't going for it no more. But maybe he didn't feel like... He probably didn't think that you would, like, take it this far or something like that. What's the what's the um identification card with the sun? We got regret. Wow. The regret's not giving you something. I know that I cannot change the past. This masculine regret's not giving you something. Not giving you some type of... Your, the sun right back to you. Something about the sun here. Something about making you making you happy. Making you smile. Giving you what you deserve. What your worth is. Somebody didn't realize your worth here. They didn't realize the type of woman that you were. Because they're so used to playing games with people. They probably thought that the energy, the energy that you came off in was fake or something. What's going on my Divine Feminine? What's going on my Divine Feminine here? What are they up to? Let's see what you are up to right now. Working on you, I'm telling you, that's exactly why this fucking masculine want to come back in. You know when you when you really do step into that divine feminine energy and you just worry about working on you, you know, working on your shadow side. Somebody's in the background working on their shadow side right now. Not even thinking about this person. And that's why he wants to come back in. Because you attract him. You are attracting him right now. You're not chasing him no more. You probably you probably chased this masculine at one point. Maybe you was in the stage of learning your worth. But now you're definitely in the stage of fully getting to know your worth. Crap, five nine of cups. Focus on you. This is the page of pentacles. Somebody is going after what they know they deserve. And you are attracting this masculine back to you. What's the nine of cups with the page of pentacles? Honesty. Somebody's being honest with themselves. Somebody is researching things on divine feminine, femininity, self-awareness. Just somebody just ten toes down on healing. You and you are a healer. With the star coming out, you are a healer. So the, I'm telling you, the type of energy that you stood in when it came to this masculine, it was very, very different. He's not used to this type of energy. I can tell. I can tell he's not. I don't know if you're going to take this masculine back, though, because, you know, that's because he finally realized that, you know, he let somebody good go. don't mean you're going to automatically take him back in, especially if he ain't really did his, his shadow work. You know, I feel like you don't want this. You don't want somebody that's, you know, overconsumed with themselves here. But I feel like this masculine is working on that. He's working on going because he really do want this family with you. I really do feel that. I feel somebody, this masculine is like working on something here. Give me some more energy with this masculine. What can what can I do? What can this divine feminine expect next when it comes to this masculine? Ooh. We got the three of wands. What's the three of wands? He's looking forward to something. This masculine is looking forward to something. I'm trying to why I'm picking up on therapy. We got the magician. He's looking forward. For this manifestation that he's talking about, that he's speaking into existence right now, for you to come back to him. He's working on you coming back to him. He's looking forward to you coming back to him. What's the magician with the three of wands? Help. 
So it's very possible that he really does want to come in and give you a healthy relationship. He's working on his mind right now and his spirit. This masculine is trying to work on his mind and his spirit right now. What do you want this divine feminine to know, spirit? What's very, very important in this reading that you want this divine feminine to know when it comes to this masculine themselves? Or the both of them? What's important? We got the moon with the four of cups. I'm getting lack. Something about lack. Lack thereof is what I'm hearing. Lack thereof. Uh, my phone's not in here. What's the moon with the four of cups? Something about lack thereof. We got acceptance. on you guys let me get my other deck over here and look at that temptation in reverse it's like i'm getting is this masculine going to be able to do it like can he conquer his inner demons what is this acceptance with the moon and the four cups like can he really do it like can are he, is he able to let go of the things that has made him who he is right now and reestablish himself in a healthy way let me see my energy on this, please. We got fertility, movements, decisions, and choices with throat chakra. That's what I'm getting. Is this master going to be able to make the right decision and be honest with himself and accept his ways that he's currently dealing with right now in rebirth? Go through a major change. Is he going to be able to be honest with himself and accept the fact that, yeah, there are some messed up things about him? I don't know. I feel like he can do it, though. I feel like he can do it, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Give me some more energy out here. What's the truth about this masculine that you want the divine feminine to know? Should she take this person back? Should she leave him out in the cold? What's up? What's going on? Oh, we got suffering in silence. With emotional withdrawal. <laughs> Give me one more. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him out in the cold, baby. We got base chakra. I'm gonna leave him out in the cold. This master has too much to deal with. He has too much to deal with right now. What's care about suffering in silence? We got the Ace of Cups. He has too much to deal with emotionally. He has to literally it, it withdraw himself in a deep way. Like I said, I feel like from my standpoint, I feel like this masculine can do it. But like, I, I'm not this masculine. I'm not you. I'm not God. So I don't know. Clarify emotional withdrawal. But he is definitely lost without you. He is thinking about you very heavy. He pop, it's probably to people that's around him, he probably don't like look like he has an issue or anything like that. But behind closed doors, when he by himself in silence, he is suffering emotionally. Because he knows what he did not give to you. But he and he also knows what he wants to give to you now. But because of what he did, he just don't know. The will of fortune. He just don't know. Clarify base chakra. Look at the high priest at the bottom of that. He just don't know. He does not know right now. He feels like he's being judged by God. Clarify base chakra. This masculine feel like he's being judged by God. That's something I'm getting with the food coming out over here. The ace of swords, yeah. The truth. The truth of who he who, the truth of who he really is and the energy that he truly stand in is coming out. It's coming out. What's the Ace of Swords with base Chakra? Oh, look at that. Relationships. This is the relationship he had with himself. This masculine got to be... He has to tell himself the truth. I feel like you you making this masculine to tell himself the truth, though. Because of who whoever you are. I feel like this masculine is watching you in some type of way. But like this masculine knows that you're spiritual as well. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are very spiritual. And this masculine knows this. So he, he's going through a, a major change right now because he really do feel drawn to you. What's the will of fortune with emotional withdrawal?
You got humor. Money, like, money has a tight hold on this man in a bad way. We all know, like, I don't look at money as a bad thing. Nobody should really look at money as a bad thing. But a lot of people say money is roots of all evil. I don't know why, but I'm really getting that in this reading. Like, that could be significant for somebody. I don't know. In what sense? I don't know. But I feel that, like, that's what I'm picking up on when it's from this masculine. Clarify suffering in silence with the Ace of Cups. You got imagination. Yep, all in his head. I keep picking up on that damn Nelly song. All in my head. And I think about it over and over again. I can't keep picturing you, him. And it hurts so bad. Yeah. <laughs> All my life. I pray for someone like you. And I thank God that I, that I finally found you. Somebody feels free and at peace with you. God damn, this mess is in love with you. He really feels like you are his better half. You're going to bring him ultimate balance. He's been searching for somebody like you, child. Child, this mess has been searching for somebody like you. He really has. <laughs> damn, he just threw it all away. Wow. <laughs> Give me some more energy out here. Let's close it out. What do you want to close it out on? What's very important next for that you want this divine feminine to know when it comes to this relationship or whatever this is? Because my divine feminine working on herself right now. Anyway. So what's next that's very important? Damn. I feel like he's going to come rushing in. Eight of Wands. What's the Eight of Wands? With an offer. He's going to come rushing in with an offer. But I feel like God is like, in some sense, like blocking him. We got the Queen of Cups. What's the Eight of Wands, Queen of Cups? The King of Swords. Something to do with your intuition here. Like, this mess is going to really have to be on his toes in some type of way because your intuition don't play no games. Like, your intuition really does, like, notify you of everything. Look at that. Everything is fine. Your intuition is on 10 here. What's the Eight of Wands, Queen of Cups, King of Swords? Oh, we got peace. Somebody's at peace with who they are. You don't want this masculine disturbing your peace. God don't want this masculine disturbing your peace. So he really going to have to do some shadow work. Ooh, I just put the deck on love. Courage. I keep saying courage. Something about your courage. Something about your uh, your strength here is important too, and your boundaries. You really stand ten toes on your boundaries. Okay, spirit. Let's get a couple more messages out here. A couple more messages out here. What else do you want the divine feminine to know? Now we're gonna end it out. I'm gonna end it out. Let's get two more to end it out. One more before I see what that is. Ooh, look at that. Boundaries. Seven of Wands. Boundaries with the Ace of Wands. Ooh, I'm getting boundaries around how you sex too. Like sex boundaries. Whoever this master is, he loves to have sex a lot. What's the Ace of Wands? Can I find the Ace of Wands? Ooh, look at that. Six of Cups. This master would love to have sex. He could possibly have a lot of kids here. Ooh, what's the seven of wands? The Empress. You are guarding your love here. Because you're not playing no games. No. That's why you're protecting. That's why you you in the background working on yourself right now. Because you're not playing no games when it comes to your love no more. Nobody's going to come in and disturb your peace. Disturb who you are and what you are building for yourself. You attracting right now. You and your Empress energy. Can I find the Ace of Wands for the Six of Cups? Look at that courage. Yeah. And this man said, no, he going to have to stand. He, he going he gonna to have to come correct. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. This man said, is kind of scary to come forward right now, though, because of your boundaries. He knows that he's going to have to make sure he, he check all four corners before he even cross. Clarify the seven of wands with the empress. Ooh. 
I just seen fear. Look at that fear at the bottom of my deck. He's scared. He got trust. I said that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. You trust in your inner voice. And right now your inner voice is telling you to guard your love. Guard your love until further notice is what I'm hearing. Yeah. So for right now, this relationship is at a, it's at a standstill. It's, it's dead. There's no comeback in right now. So I don't know exactly what you guys can expect in this one situation. But as of right now, this masculine is... <laughs> MIA, while you MIA working on yourself, whatever he doing, he back in the background feeling guilty as hell right now for everything he did to you in fear that you're not going to accept this offer if you do try to come back in for some of you. But you got it right now in self love, baby. Working on your Empress energy right now. Yeah. Okay, you guys. So that is your message. I want to thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I say, I say, I say. Mwah.